Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with a new segment. Actually, it's the season two of P.O.P. It's the problem or process. And right now, we're about to dive into the quarterback room, the most popular room on the team. And we're about to let you know who makes the squad and who gets the boot. And let's start off with our quarterback, Derek Anderson, the number three quarterback on this team. Now, here's the deal. Derek Anderson played a pivotal role on this team. He helped develop and move along the franchise quarterback in Josh Allen. However, does he merit a third QB spot? Now, there's ups and downs on Derek Anderson. He's a teacher. He's going to be in the room with the franchise quarterback. He's going to be the sideline teacher. Years of experience in different offenses. He's changed offenses almost every year of his damn career. So he knows how things can quickly change. And he is going to set things straight for our young guy. Do we really need a third quarterback on this team when we have Matt Barkley? That's something that you got to think about. So pivotal in the development of Josh Allen, you have to consider keeping him on the team. Is he part of the problem or is he part of the process? I'll let you know at the end of this video. Let's move on to QB number two. QB number two, Matt Barkley. Now, Matt Barkley kind of came on the scene, kind of threw us off a little bit in that Jets game. Came out and hung 41 points on the Jets. Cold, you know what I'm saying? Cold off the bench, cold off the street. So gives you a little bit of hope that he still has a little bit of play in him. He's still got some game in him. Now, are you comfortable enough with letting Matt Barkley take over if our quarterback in Josh Allen gets hurt? I remember the rule. Doug Whaley gave this rule. I remember this to this day. Your backup quarterback should be able to give you 500 football. If you're out for four games, you win two, you lose two. That's how the backup quarterback, I, in my opinion, have always wanted it to be. And I continue to want it to be that way. But does Matt Barkley have the skill set to do that? He showed us something in the Jets game, which gives you optimism. Matt Barkley, quarterback number two. Part of the problem? Or is he part of this process? Y'all let me know, because I definitely will give you my opinion. And last but not least, our guy, the franchise Josh Allen. Here's the deal. He's going to be here for many, many years. And his ceiling is as high as ever. And we, as Bills fans, appreciate what he's done for this. Because he gives us a spark on this team. And nobody can deny that. Something does scare me a little bit, though. My man likes to exit the pocket a little too often for my liking. But if you look back at our O-line, our O-line was some shit. So we have to protect our quarterback if we protect our quarterback he stays behind center if he stays behind center he's lighting cats up so to me that is encouraging so we got three quarterbacks on this team Derek anderson matt barkley josh allen do all three merit to be on this squad i think we know one is the obvious but what about the other two there's a little twist this year a twist this year in P.O.P. One free agent quarterback that you'd add onto this team and boot one off of this team. And if I was going to boot one of these quarterbacks off this team, it would be Derek Anderson. Who would I add? Plot twist. We obviously know it's not going to be Josh Allen. Matt Barkley kind of proved himself last year. Derek Anderson, on the other hand, is the one that could and be on the fence. So what if I told you if we brought in a Ryan Fitzpatrick to come in as the second string or third string or battle it out with Matt Barkley? Wouldn't that be something? Having Amish Rifle back in Buffalo, I know he was a fan favorite. Wouldn't that be interesting? He can still take over games, can still light it up and be a nice compliment to Josh Allen or Josh McCown, quarterback of the Jets, backup quarterback of the Jets, knowledgeable, experienced, like a teacher on the field. Wouldn't you like him over a Derek Anderson? Just a thought. But having a quarterback in the same system for two years in a row does make a difference. 
Let's find out who makes the squad or who gets the boot. Josh Allen is part of the process. He is the process. Number two, do you keep Matt Barkley or do you send him packing? To me, you gotta keep him. He showed you enough last year. He's Josh Allen's number one fan. You saw that in the Miami game. Down across the field on the sideline, pumping it up for my guy, Josh Allen. You got a good backup quarterback in Matt Barkley. Do you keep him on the squad? I say yes, he's part of the process. Now, here's the tricky part. What do you do with Derrick Anderson? Pivotal, pivotal role for Josh Allen. But do you waste the third QB spot for a quarterback when you have with him at Barkley when you could strengthen the O-line, strengthen the receivers, strengthen the D-line? Or do you, do you roll with three quarterbacks? I say we roll with three quarterbacks and keep the thing status quo. Don't fix what isn't broken. We saw an ascending player in Josh Allen due to having two quarterbacks on the sideline that can mentor him. There's nothing wrong with that. Why not? We need the most success from the quarterback position. Why not keep both guys on the squad having Anderson, Barkley, Allen, all three part of the process. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's the quarterback room. Tell me what you guys think. Should we keep all three as a process or is one of them a problem and they got to go? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, click that little bell for notifications to let you know when Buffalo Fanatics hitting you up with a new video. Until next time, it's your boy, and I'm gone.